This John Lothian News video is sponsored by the state of volumes in the option space? Equity volume is down. And they're such close cousins of each other that you would think that they should be highly correlated. That if equity volumes are down, that you would expect to see derivatives volume down as well. So that's the positive story in the number that you're seeing. Yes, it's, it's flat and it's sort of ho-hum, but it, it's almost like a portfolio manager comparing their performance to the S&P, right? If the S&P were down 5% and you were flat for the year, you'd be going out and telling everybody it's time to move their money to you because you're a great portfolio manager. And I think that's what the options industry is telling you as well. The industry itself has been able to hold volumes flat in an environment where volume and the underlying stocks are down. And ultimately, the volume in the underlying stock is the advertisement for, you know, the interest in trading derivatives. If a stock doesn't trade, the derivatives are not going to trade. So what's going on? Why is it, is it outperforming in the options industry versus the equities industry? And that I would point to weekly options, additional strikes, dollar strikes, more expiration months. We've been adding product to the portfolio that we have even though it's still the same underlying asset. So you're stuck with Facebook. There's only one Facebook, and there's only one bid ask in Facebook in the equities world. But in the options world, we had the strikes, we had the months, we had the different expirations, and now we've been able to add product to that. As a result, there's more trading. Now, it's not something that you can continue to do year after year after year. There is the the hope that as the economy begins, begins to improve, that you'll see the investors beginning to return back into the equities market, and that will spill over into the options market as well. How can the options industry grow the pie? The current events of the day talk to some of the challenge that the markets are having, and that is the technology problems being experienced by firms, by exchanges, by SIPs. They all point to an environment that uh, causes a market maker to be a little wider or to put up a little less size on the screens. And that's happening across all the exchanges. It has nothing to do with the quality of any one exchange's technology, but we're all linked to each other. And the more that we can do to make the firms feel more comfortable, that there's somebody out there paying attention to what is being sent in, and potentially developing the kill switches that we've talked to the SEC about, um, treating certain errors consistently across all the marketplaces rather than having different obvious error rules and different trade versus bust policies. Uh, all of those will help to increase the liquidity that's displayed in the marketplace. And that will help grow the pie. Because when you look at the screens today, you're really seeing a rush to providing the minimal liquidity that's needed. And that is a step away from where we were, say, five or 10 years ago, where you saw the derivatives marketplaces size increasing over time relative to equities. I think that will come with improvements in the monitoring of the markets and the monitoring of the feeds coming in from a market maker or from an order flow provider. We think there is an opportunity to do that. The technology certainly exists out there to uh, sort of pattern what you would expect to be receiving from a firm and from a market maker and to react when the pattern is being violated. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you remove all the quotes or all the orders but initially, if something is looking a little strange, maybe a phone call is in order. But if it continues to, to show that pattern, or maybe even grow, maybe 
a kill switch has to be hit and, and remove that member from connectivity to the marketplace in order to ensure that uh, you, you don't have these outcomes, these catastrophic events.